I've tested some of the most promising alternatives to Figma, some of which might really surprise you. Since its launch in 2011, Figma's meteoric rise in popularity as that go-to software for designers creating user interfaces and user experiences was so collectively embraced by the tech community in a way that no single design platform had ever been in the past, mostly due to its really intuitive interface, its browser-based OS agnostic access, powerful team collaboration, and community-driven design resources. While many fear that Figma will become everything they dislike about Adobe XD and lock it into Adobe's suite of paid subscription products, Figma's founders Dylan Field and Adobe's chief product officer Scott Belsky had this to say. People should, should watch as opposed to trust, right? It's like, this is software that all of you use every day for everything you do in your lives. And, um, and you know, aside from making sure that Figma has the autonomy and can continue on its trajectory, um, I just want to, you know, tell you, like, our team is committed to trying to make it better, you know, bring some new capabilities and, and show people that companies, you know, companies can change and, um, and rise to the occasion. And that's, that's certainly what, as individuals on our side, who are here all because we, you know, we're designers or, and, and or care about this industry deeply, like, you know, we're up for that challenge. So whether you're cautiously optimistic about the acquisition or you're going through a period of mourning and thinking about jumping ship, here are some of the alternatives that are really worth knowing about. Sketch. After graduating from Photoshop, I moved over to SketchUp. As I've mentioned before, I love it and always have and still use it in my day-to-day -day work. They really paved the way for UI and product design centric software and have been going strong with their mission and their vision since 2010. Sketch is still Mac only software, but it has all of the features that you love about Figma really, really well done, including file syncing, team collaboration, and advanced prototyping. They do have a free trial. Otherwise you can unlock all of the features for $9 a month. Our designer up students get 50% off Sketch app. Wizard is one of my favorite new players on the block. Both familiar and innovative, what Wizard is doing with AI and the ability to turn sketches directly into high fidelity mockups is pretty magical. Wizard allows you to take hand-drawn wireframes, scan them, and then automatically turns them into high fidelity screen mockups for you. You can also do some advanced prototyping and interactions all in a nice web-based application. It's free for three projects or $12 a month for unlimited access to their pro plan. Right now, they're offering a month free and our designer up students receive a discount. Envision Studio is a powerful platform for designing, whiteboarding, and prototyping. Envision really paved the way for collaborative prototype sharing. I love the user experience and also appreciate just how much they invest in design education, including their free eBooks, podcasts, and workshops. Envision Studio is free to download for Mac and Windows, and it's also worth checking out Envision Freehand, which is Envision's equivalent to FigJam for whiteboarding and team collaboration. UX Pin aims to bring the design and dev worlds closer together by letting designers and devs create components, design systems, documentation, and edit designs alongside the actual code. So what you see in UX Pin is actually the code that developers will implement. They offer GitHub integration as well as versioning. They also feature event-based triggers for conditional interactions and setting variables. You can pick up UX Pin Standard, a basic plan for $19 a month, and then upgrade to advanced or professional. And if you're a startup or a company that needs some more of the advanced design systems and merging tools, then you'll have to sign up for UX Pin Merge. ProtoPie is for both Mac and Windows. I found prototyping in ProtoPie to actually be superior to Figma. Rather than creating a linear flow like Figma, ProtoPie uses trigger-based actions where you can select an object or element and then add an advanced trigger event to it. This gets you even closer to the experience of the live app using variables that can trigger flows outside of the app, such as email verification sent to your actual email address for testing. There is a free version of ProtoPie as well as a pro version for $67 a month. Lunacy is one of my favorite options that reminds me the most of Figma. Its setup and features are pretty similar and includes things like components and variants. 
One thing that I especially like about it are the resource libraries for photos, illustrations, and UI kits. Having this centralized integration of resources that are most often used by designers right at your fingertips is quite handy. Best of all, Lunacy is completely free for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Framer is an amazing option for those that want to go from design straight to code more easily. It runs more like a page builder and content management system and website publishing tool. I also really like that you can design and preview responsive breakpoints, which you weren't able to do in Figma without a plugin. Pricing wise, it's completely free to build your sites until you're ready to publish and then it's around $15 a month. Webflow is a popular no-code platform among web designers and developers for creating things like landing pages and full websites. While the platform does lack some of the tools UX and UI designers need, such as wireframing, whiteboarding, and user flows, it's great for creating responsive websites that you can publish directly to the web. The integrated content management system makes it very easy to create dynamic websites and shortens the time between design and development. Penpot. One of the most promising and powerful options I've come across is actually open source. This community built and driven platform allows anyone to contribute to its ongoing development and gives us as designers and developers a direct say and stake in the creation of our tool. It's already impressive set of features rivals Figma for both design and collaboration. It's web-based, so it's not dependent on any operating system. I've been using it a lot lately and I'm really enjoying it. Personally, whether it ends up being Adobe and Figma or any of these other amazing design tools that take us into the future, DesignerOp will continue to bring educational discounts to our students, like the ones we already offer for Figma, Sketch, and Envision. I'm really excited about AI tools like Dolly and Midjourney, giving us a peek into what it might be like to design using written or spoken prompts. For example, create a FinTech dashboard. The possibilities are endless. So what do you think? Are you excited about the acquisition? Are you worried about it? What do you think the evolution of design software will be? Are you interested in building something with the community in open source? Let me know in the comments and let's continue the conversation on Twitter.